Topic 1 Measurement Part 2 now of Video 2 Improving Accuracy Measuring better How can we improve the measurements that we have taken? Accuracy can be improved by two methods The first one is repeating measurements For example, when you measure the length of a rod don't just measure it once, measure it at least twice. The second measurement will serve as a check on the first one. The other method is measuring more than one item at a time. The following are the examples. First one, find the circumference of a rod. First of all, wrap a string around the circumference of a rod ten times. Then measure the length of the string and divide it by ten to give you the circumference. There's an example of repeating measurements. Second one, finding the thickness of one sheet of paper. First of all, measure the thickness of 100 sheets, then divide it by 100 to obtain the thickness of one sheet. This is an example of measuring more than one item at a time. Measuring a short interval of time. Example, to measure the period. Period is a time for one oscillation or one swing of a pendulum. The pendulum is set swinging and let it swing for a couple of swings and then you time it for 20 oscillations. This time is then divided by 20 to give you the time for one swing, which is a period. This diagram here illustrates what's meant by one oscillation or one swing. If you start timing from here, then you have to let the pendulum swing right to the other side and back again. There's one swing or one oscillation. Micrometer, which is a very accurate measuring instrument, is 100 times more accurate than a ruler and is used for measuring small objects like this one here. So for example, if you want to measure the diameter of this round object, then you put it in this gap here between anvil and spindle. Anvil is fixed. Spindle can be adjusted back and forth like this. So in this case, you move the spindle to the left to close up the gap by turning on this rigid with a finger. And once the gap is closed up, then you take the reading from here. Here is a close-up view of a micrometer showing the two scales here. This main scale is on a sleeve and then the subscale on the thimble which can be turned with the fingers. This slide teaches you how to take reading from a micrometer. First of all, let me explain the two scales, main scale and subscale. On the main scale, these marks at the top are millimeter marks. So zero, one millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters. The marks at the bottom are half millimeter marks. So it's zero, half a millimeter, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. The subscale has got 50 divisions. It divides half a millimeter into 50 divisions. So for this reading here, we've got you have to take two readings, one for the main scale, one for the subscale, and add them together. The reading on, on the main scale is one, two, three, three and a half millimeters. That's reading one, three and a half millimeters. Then take reading for the subscale. This mark here lines up with this main line here, which is 11, so it's 0 0.11 millimeter. That is reading two. Add the two together gives you 3.61 millimeter, but then you had to convert it to centimeters and it should read 0.361 centimeters.